I'm gonna leave you. <laughs> I thought so. You ready to go to the beach? Let's go, come on. I think she approves of the beach. This wind. Okay, now we're ready. How about that to start the morning? A few days ago I got a loaf of sourdough bread and I have been waiting for the perfect morning to make some French toast bites. And I'm thinking that this might be the morning. Those sound pretty incredible right now. Squeaky shoes. I am currently lacking another word to describe how everything feels right now. Hands, hair, legs, sweatshirt. They all feel moist. And I know, I know, but they do. And I feel like that word is very fitting for how this feels. This screams camping with Steve. I could totally see him rocking a night in that. Oh, it's windy. I think I really nailed this parking job. That right there is the equivalent of the guys with the big trucks parking their truck. Nobody's gonna park next to me. Hey, if I spent $90,000 on a car too, I would want to protect it. All right, let's get started. Okay. You don't need to be here. Go over there. It's a smidge windy out there. And I don't think you're going to be able to hear a word I'm saying. So we're going to cook them inside. Just like old times. I will be winging this today. I do not have a recipe. I can't tell you the last time I made French toast. Actually, I can tell you. It was in Colorado. But I did not film it, and I winged it that time as well. So this could be really good, or this could be really terrible. But regardless, I'm never going to be able to recreate this again. We need the table. This is the bread I got. Nature's own sourdough. I should have opened this and let it get a little stale. I didn't. I need an egg and milk. So, because we are in a car and not in a house, <laughs> so much dog hair just went everywhere. I vacuum so often and it is everywhere all the time anyway since we're in a car and not a house we will be making french toast a little bit differently so don't come at me for the method all that matters is the end product tastes good all right i 
These are some thickums. Look at those things. Those are dense. I feel like I might need another egg. Come here. First step, gotta slice up this bread. It's not too scientific. Little half inch cubes, I would say. Some would like to take the crust off. I am not going to get that particular today. All right. There's one. I'm definitely more of a pancake person than I am French toast, but every once in a while, I like some good French toast. I'm glad I'm not doing this outside because it is dark. It is raining. We're fixing to get a storm down here. I'm excited about that. Now that we have our cubes of bread, it is time to make our dredge. I don't know what it's called for French toast. Crack these eggs. Woo, making a mess already. I don't have a trash. That was critical oversight. Um, we'll sit you down there. <laughs> Big time mess. Okay. Now. Give them a little whiskey business. Less is more initially, because if you need more milk, once you add in your bread, you'll know. But if you add too much, then you're gonna have a mess. It's gonna be soggy and disgusting. So start with less, then add more. Again, we're not very scientific over here. Then a little bit of cinnamon. The part of adding the sugar and the cinnamon to this mixture is the part that normally is not the case with French toast. At least not the way that I've made it at home in the past. It's coming down. I hope you guys can hear me. Now for the best part. Throw in your bread. Give it a stir and get all of these pieces nice and coated. This is where if you notice that these pieces are not coating very well, add just a little bit more milk. So this is what it kind of looks like now. There's no liquid at the bottom anymore. Now for the controversial part. If you're new to my channel and this is the first video you've seen of mine, I do have a fire extinguisher and a carbon monoxide detector. So no need to fret. We are safe in this vehicle. Let's get started with cooking these things. Woo. I'm gonna give this a chance to get up to temp a little bit on the pan, and then we'll throw a couple of these on here. All right. Now, you don't want too many, just a few. Give them all their own little personal bubble so they can cook properly. While these are cooking, I don't have any maple syrup or powdered sugar, but if you wanna doctor these up with some good stuff, absolutely. I put some berries with them before, it's really good. I lost my flipper. Oh, they are looking good.
All right, the first batch is good. Take a look at these beauts. Taste test. Mm-hmm. These are so good. Little French toast bites. Now imagine a little powdered sugar, some fruit, maple syrup. It's trying to clear up, but I think it's going to be mostly an inside day. We spent all of the past couple days exploring outside, so we'll probably just hang out, work a lot. Little one will do a munch on some bones. I hope you enjoy these French toast bites. Maybe give them a try, give the method a try. I would recommend making sure that the bread it's a little stale just so it doesn't soak up all the liquid. Enjoy, have a great day, great evening, great morning, whatever. And I will see you in the next vlog. Cheers.